when <laughs> Zia, you were at my um engagement party last night. Thank it you was for coming. So Fun. Thank you for inviting me. Not to rub it in everybody else's face, but you know what? I feel FOMO when everyone in Texas is having a great time. <laughs> what was the best gift that you got? What was your favorite oh. one? Oh, first of all, we said did you no get another gift. hand? No, I now I want so badly is another hand to go with uh, my. Okay, Carl, I haven't shown Carl the hand yet, and I haven't. I don't know if Tugs has seen it, but hold on. Okay, okay, I have to. I have to really like tell this the right way so my brother lives in north carolina he could have totally come to the engagement party but he's like oh i have kids therefore i have an excuse for life not to get out of shit i don't want to do so he's like i'm not coming to the engagement party however i am kids. i am sending you a gift like look out for it so he's hyping up this gift <laughs> oh no and i Sweet. by no means am a fucking diva i'm not high maintenance i don't like people think i have expensive taste you should i be. don't i'm wearing like literally right? like dirty shorts under all this so uh anyway so i'm not they're clean but the, i'm just being creative this gift comes i'm like oh my god what is it gonna be he really hyped it up and then so i open it up and it's this <laughs> that's amazing is it that's a ring holder it's a ceramic ring holder and ring i learned holder. i think it was oh. i think it was Brittany who said that this is the sign language sign for love which does yeah. help like 15%. oh i didn't say that Okay, it was I somebody thought it was else. sign language it for one, the pink new. one, the stank. Yeah, it's actually sign language <laughs> for the shocker. This is a ring holder. But this was not, <laughs> this was hyped up so much. And we determined that this is a re gift. Yes, that for absolutely sure. looks like a re gift. That's like something that's been sitting around forever that they're like, fuck, what do we do with this? Yeah. You don't oh, go oh, and buy this and send it. You just, it do. comes into your life and you <laughs> hang on to it for a while and you wait until the perfect moment. Here's what you do with that. You fuck it once and then send it back to him. Yeah, no, you have to regift it. You have I to regift it. Myself like, with you, it. You have to yeah. wait. You have to wait until like the right moment. It'll come a year or so, mm -hmm. maybe two you're down right. the road. You're right. Hugs, you're right. I am going to wait until one, my niece or my nephew get married and I'm going to hang on to this for 20 years if I have to. Yes. And I will wait and I will... And I will give it to one of them as a wedding gift. Yeah. And oh, I will have the last laugh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see? By then it'll be yellowing for me. I'll be, <laughs> I will be almost dead, but it's going to be worth it. So anyway, that's the hand. So I kind of want another hand to go with it. <sighs> okay. But anyway, yeah, thanks for coming, Zia. It was a hoot. We got oh my God. It was so hammered. Fun. Like we closed down the boat club. Two and then bars. We and then we went wow. to a second club. It was like me, you, Gigi, uh, Cecil, um, Anthony Cumia. Uh, who else was there? Marshall, Lindsay. Wait, big what a. did Cecil end up getting Frank. you as a gift? Because he was worried about what to get you. Oh, I don't even know. Like, we haven't even gone through them all yet. But we also said, like, no gifts. So it's like, uh, I don't even know. The point is, is that nobody he, listens he to that. He stayed nobody out. To that he stayed ever. out late with us drinking hard and then god it was yeah people were like recognizing anthony a little bit um at the second bar it was man that guy drinks like the first bar was trying to shut down and then kumia would pull out a hundred dollar bill he'd be like and he's so he's charming as hell he'd be like this hundred's for you and this hundred is to buy everyone here another round Let, let's make this happen and she was like okay the <laughs> bartender loved him yeah i mean for obvious reasons but yeah she loved him he could have charmed the panties off her no that fucking made problem. me <laughs> wet like i was yeah. involved and i was like I was like, wow, okay. He did that when we were in Texas too. You remember? They wanted to close and he was like, no, and did the same thing. And we kept this was, and drinking. Yeah, this was at a restaurant after a show, yeah. I think, and the, everything was closing down. He just rolls up. It's a combination of like bills and people knowing who he is. Mm -hmm. So wait, girls are attracted to guys with money? I'm writing this down. Can you just give me a second? I'm trying no. to- No. I mean, that's no. Happens, no girl is know. ever attracted to money and power. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. Um, but yeah, we had a blast. And oh my God. <laughs> So, you know, in the movies, they always make it look like women are going into the bathroom together and they're getting naked. And I'm always yes! like, that's not true. That never happens. It's all business. We're in and out. But last oh, no. night, we no, literally no. had like a movie bathroom moment with like me, Zia, <laughs> Lindsay and Gigi. We get in there and we're all we're all talking about like content house and stuff. 
and uh, like who's coming, who's not. And then a random girl comes in and someone jokingly says, get out. We're having a meeting. And then we're like, haha, no. And then we're all getting along. And then out of nowhere, Gigi says, I'll show you my tits if you show me yours. And then before <laughs> I knew it, before I knew it, hers were out. And then we the saw other free girls, boobs. The other girl, I was like, oh my God, this woman's going to storm out of here. She's going to fucking throw us out oh, of the no. Nope. Her shirt was up too. And she had both <laughs> nipples pierced. And I was like, ah! This is great. That's it's amazing. Happened. You've never seen that before in the bathroom? Not no. like that. Oh, we mean well, that. that me I live in children. Vegas, so I see it quite. There's always, there's always a girl in the bathroom. It's like, oh my God, I just has two on my ass. Do you want to see it? And I'll the bathroom, <laughs> like, yes, queen, we want to see your booty tattoo. And she'll pull her dress up or whatever all the wow. time. But I live in Vegas, so maybe that's. <laughs> I think it's like, when oh, yeah, girls get drunk together they want to they want to talk about it. my favorite is when there's a bunch of drunk girls in the bathroom and they make best friends like i've made plans That's to true. go hiking with girls the next uh -huh. day we're gonna oh, get wow. brunch and and then i never see these women again i mean that this is like a very ago, la right? thing to do that was in la and everybody's like i love you so much you're so beautiful let's go hiking <laughs> yeah yep. let's, you guys you get the best advice now, right? too <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. advice. Right. If you need a hair tie, you're just like, oh my god, I may have a hair tie, and the whole bathroom's like, oh, I have a hair tie. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. Do you, I text my ex, and the whole bathroom's like, no, don't text your ex. the best. <laughs> I do miss, I do miss that about drinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. The camaraderie of drunk girls in the bathroom is fantastic. Dang, we are unstoppable. When we're drunk together. In the <laughs> we bathroom. really like, had that last night. Everyone was hugging. Like, yeah, yes. Gigi was fully trying to make out with Lindsay. She was on <laughs> Lindsay the whole night. It was amazing. Lindsay, you're, I think you said it. It was so funny. You're like, Lindsay's eyes are screaming out for help. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gigi, Gigi kept coming. She's like kissing She's like, her face. At one point, she licked my stomach. She like went down and was like dancing. What was your stomach doing near her up, tongue though? Well, that's the thing. She like was dancing around me and then she, she like dropped down in like a crouching position and came back up and like licked my stomach on her way back up. And I was like, Gigi, you are amazing. This is hilarious. I love it. It was yeah. just, so, yeah. Oh man. She's so what fun. you call fun, fun at parties. <laughs> she is. And her husband oh. too is just sitting in the background like, yep. Yeah, he's chill. And he, we need that cool. He had that cool collected male energy that mm. that's needed to balance somebody like her out. So yeah, so was, chill. Yeah. What are you going to do for your awesome. bachelorette party? I don't know. Now I that's like, the real I, question. I feel like my whole life is a bachelorette party. <laughs> um, maybe, yes, yeah, some, some sort of something in Orlando because so many of us will be together. For sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can take a night it. where we go out somewhere or something and like make Ooh. it a little thing with just the girls. What if we bring a male stripper back to the content house? Oh my God, the guys will love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being, I'm being Alex accused. Stein to strip. I'm being accused of tubing at while you guys I are talking about that. this. I'm, I'm just I'm showing my hands. Show your hands. <laughs> Why? People think you're jerking it? He didn't even argue. He was just like, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs>